All right, guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man, Jay. So today we're going to take a look at an external monitor. I'm going to go ahead and demo that by linking it to my Pixelbook Go. Uh, this case is really nice. You should have um, some, some nice things about this is there should be a case in here. And that case can actually be used as a stand as well. Um, and the phone, the, the screen itself should give you some eye protection. So it'll dim out a little bit. So, you know, you stare at your uh, screen for a long time you shouldn't have too much problems with it. So as you can see here, uh, it is IPS LCD, uh, HD signal, type C function for video data transfer and power supply, type C supply. You've got 12, uh, uh, 1920 by 1080. Uh, the color temperature is 6,800 K. So 15.6 inches HDMI interface type C 16 by nine dual stereo speakers. So we're gonna rip this open here. Pretty excited about this one. I hope you guys are too. Here we go. I like the fact that you get a stand out of the case. I've had monitors before where it didn't have uh, anything with it at all. Like it didn't give you uh, any kind of case or stand or anything. It was just a monitor. And so that's why you saw me review some monitor stands, if you don't remember that video. So in here, you can see right off the rip, you've got power supply. So you got a charging brick here. You've got type C. Type C cable right here. Nice lengthy type C cable. Some protection. A screen protector, that's sweet. Um, you got the manual here, pretty nice. And it gives you, it shows you how to hook up that stand. Yeah, 15.6 inches. I think this might be the biggest one that I've ever, ever done. Be sure to read your manuals, folks. Now let's get to the monitor itself. Very nice, man, very nice. You get the type C cable here to hook it up. Nice quality type C cable too. Nice. Let's get this open here. Nice long type C cable. Then you have HDMI, uh, too many HDMI here. If you're gonna do it like that, they got you covered. These cables are really expensive, folks, and they put them in the box. I've actually bought this cable before, <laughs> and then I end up getting more in. Uh, so that's that. And then you get this down here for um, putting on the screen protector. We're not gonna focus on the screen protector right now. I wanna show you this monitor. So let's get it open here. Oh yes, this is, oh, this is so beautiful. We'll take a look around it too. Oh man, this is so beautiful. Oh, look at that. It's got like a mat. Ooh, I like that. Screen, I like that it has like a mat uh, film on the screen. That's beautiful because I like matte screen protectors. So you've got a speaker here and a speaker on this side. On this side, you have uh, the, looks like the volume controls right here, power, and then a headphone jack right there. And then on this side, you've got your power. This is where you plug it into power. And this is the pass through right here. So you have power and pass through and you have your HDMI slot. And that is pretty cool. So I'm gonna get this all set up and powered on and hooked up to my laptop and we'll be right back. All right guys, so I got it hooked up. I got the monitor going. Here's my laptop over here. Obviously I have um, the web browser over here, but let's push this aside. It is an external monitor, so you wanna see this. Now this is the stand mode for the, for the monitor. Um, and I just ran the wire through the back. One plus that you have from this is you don't need to run the power cord if you don't want to. If you got enough juice on your laptop, you could definitely power this thing. This huge screen, 15.6 inches, is getting powered by my laptop. Now, as far as volume goes, um, that's the 100% volume. 
if you were in person, you know, it'll sound better in person. It's definitely not the loudest, that's for sure. The speakers come out of the side here, but if they were facing you, I think it will be great. So the color accuracy on this thing is actually really solid. I have the I have the brightness at 100. This scroll wheel on the side here is actually a button, so you press it in and you get all the controls. So when I want to do something, um, I just scroll down through everything like this. I'm using it to push down on it and up. So you can see the changes that you can make. Right? These are all the changes you can make. It also has HDR mode too, and I have it set to auto. If I change it to off, it looks the same, but if I change it to on, look at the color saturation on here. Look at that color saturation. Wow. That's crazy. Yeah, that, that HDR is definitely pumping it way up. Let's get back in here and turn that off. I like it with the HDR off or set to auto, but there's tons of different modes and things you can get in here and use that power button is kind of like your back button. I think this looks really natural right here. This is actually really, really solid, man. So, I mean, it's up to you to decide, but I totally think that this is a good look, man. And I like the fact that I don't have to power it with the power cord if I don't need to. I can throw this inside of my um, backpack. It turns down a little bit. I can throw this inside of my backpack and then I'm, I'm good. And you can run this depending on what you're using. I'm using the Pixelbook Go, so I have it set like this to, to this type C. I can put the pixel back and switch it. You know what I'm saying? This is nice, man. I like the fact that this has two modes for the uh, for the actual stand. So I can literally start something up and just move this out of the way. And I got a 16 inch laptop screen. Ultimately, this is fire right here, man. Really nice. Really nice. So there it is, man. Nice. Beautiful. Beautiful. Beautiful monitor, man. <laughs> I'm telling you. This is beautiful. I'll have a link down below where you can grab yours. Um, this will run you about $199. Please check for any coupons that you see down in the description as well. Uh, and it's your man, Jay. Remember, you get a stand with the case. And as far as the glare for your eyes, no issues, man. One other thing to note. It is IP55 waterproof. So you get some kind of splash protection with that too, man. You drop a little water on it, you should be good. I'm liking that, man. Anyway, it's your man Jay. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let's move, let's move my pixel book out of the way and let's just focus on this for a second. This is a thing of beauty. A thing of beauty. I like this, man. I like the anti-glare. I mean, I review a lot of stuff, folks, but this thing is, I've never had a 15.6 inch monitor in before. And this thing is nice. So there you have it, man. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.